Here's a little flashback from the previous day of this trip. Make sure you catch up on it before you dive into this video. Good morning. Good morning from day two in Sri Lanka and our first full day here in Kandy. I am feeling like myself again today. <sighs> In case you saw yesterday's vlog, because like yesterday while going to sleep, my head, the mind was like, "Hey, Allah, Allah, Allah." I wasn't feeling like myself while vlogging today. I wasn't feeling like myself while doing anything today. I was so bloody drained. Like my head was like, "I need sleep." My uterus started its period. My body was exhausted. Um, I slept literally. We were asleep by 10:30 last night. I kept a time lapse to roll last night. What did you guys think of that? Was work is that me hoga? And uh, I woke up at around 5:00, 5:30 for that, and went back to sleep at around like 7, I think. Neen neen aari thi phir. I was like, neen neen neen. So just so just so just so just so just so just. You'll need the sleep because you're gonna do a lot today. There's a lot of things I want to see in Kandy, and since today is our only full day over here, I plan on. Making the most of it. Uh, we are at breakfast right now. We've just come niche. I say, "Kya mani?" Just some asman se tapke. We are <laughs> having breakfast. We ordered for English breakfasts. I have a plate of fruits over here next to me. I have some juice over here. Hi. You're completely against the light, so I can only see your silhouette, which does look kind of nice. So you feel like dancing. <laughs> so um, that's what's happening right now. I plan on going up and getting ready after this. बहुत भूख लगी थी, so I didn't want to like get ready and come down. I will finish breakfast, then go up and get ready. We will look nice and dress up a little bit for today. I'm feeling like myself today, and I love it. Alhamdulillah. Last night I was just like, mm, I don't like road trips so much. I don't like hilly road trips unless I'm driving. When I'm driving, I like all road trips. Cheers. When I walk into the kitchen, you saw the look on my face. You saw the look on my heart to get out of this place. Meanwhile, we're currently getting ready, as you can see. In about half an hour, we need to reach down, and we have to go up. No, we need to go down, right? Oh, you're so morbid. Um, basically, it's a little up. Like there are different floors here, so I'm confused. What of the? No, we need to go down for sure. <laughs> Completely lost track. Be kya bolle wali thi? Aaj ka plan. So the plan is now to go into a specific side of Candy, and uh, they're going to be taking us to this tea plantation and also visit a Buddhist temple, which is really, really popular. This side. Um, so. Quickly, want to do very very basic makeup. I'm not even going to wear foundation, to be honest. I'm just going to do some concealer and uh, mask. Going to be on my face, so I'm okay. just going to figure what to do, what not to do. Quickly get ready and um, see you guys. I'm trying to pull things out of my pouches. See you guys in a little bit. Hello, hi G. We are on our way, and uh, we've just left the hotel. We're staying at the summit, as you guys know. And uh, day two in Sri Lanka is about to get super kick started. फिलहाल हम दो या तीन जगह देखने वाले हैं, and after that we're going to come back to the hotel to have lunch. So I'm really excited for what lies ahead. I'm going to try and show you guys all of my outfits and give you all of the details in the vlogs. I feel like in my vlogs, uh, when I'm traveling, I don't land up really focusing as much on outfits. But since we're doing daily vlogs, I totally can. And since you guys love slightly longer vlogs also. Um, so we will do that, but for now, till here, बाहर देखते हुए चलते हैं, because Candy is so so beautiful. I'm going to give you guys some shots of what this place looks like. It's all so scenic, green, mountainish, hillish greenery, and winding roads, which I'm slightly nervous about. <laughs> I forgot the Ava Mine at the hotel. You want to go down? No, actually, it's a 15-20 minute drive. Yeah. Ava Mine, lady, so I would get drowsy also. That's true. So where we are staying actually is at Summit, which is which overlooks the Candy City. Yeah. So you would probably see Candy City from the window. Yes. In one of those photos, looks. It looks the beautiful. The spot is stunning. Place I seen something I've never seen before. When you put on the pineapple, we couldn't be friends anymore. Pineapple pasta. Pizza. It's a fruit and you know that. Pineapple pasta. Go on pizza. They just don't belong. Just hand-driven tea roller. 
it is called little giant tea roller with the leaf is put into the chucker and two men are needed to operate this machine manually operate so basically this side and this side and crush normal tea good chai indian style uh, green tea is also nice but uh, black tea has a different chai tea with milk yes a strong one yes <laughs> with ginger ah uh, put it with ginger indian style uh-huh <laughs> Sri Lanka very famous black tea and little green tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The leaf is spread onto the table, one to three inches thick. It is six stress syrup or dryer. Fermented leaf is kept inside to be fired outside furnace. Jerry is going up on to see what the machine looks like. Hi. All modern dryers, it is called Walker's dryer. This is first of a dryer in Ceylon. It is called Venetian tea dryer. Mm -hmm. Same thing, but this one first part. There is something, all these machines, the British got it? Yes. So before the British came, how was tea made? In how was tea made in 1867. Okay, so with the British. Yes. Large skeleton, initially most factory, were run by hydropower. Both is a telecom high relation to high speeds when what is the cups and connect the belt and operate to hold factory power machines. Mm. And small belt and connect to the dynamo right to supply electricity. This furnace, uh, firewood is put into the furnace and outside dryer and heated air through the dryer. Okay. Which is it? The tea can be graded different mesh sizes and grading and put it with the final product bean, tea bean. Please come, I can explain tea grades. Here, silver tips and golden tips. Pick the top young leaves, put into the inside process. This one very expensive. Okay. Gunpowder and sencha, green tea. Gunpowder tea, Chinese pan heating process and sencha, Japanese steaming process. Green tea not fermented. These are black tea. Final grade dust number one and dust, very small size grades, very mm -hmm. strong tea. Orange peco peco grades, curly leaves and light cup of tea. Okay. Wow. This tea bush is 80 years old. Oh my God. Wow. And the little baby one over here is four years old. Sister, so sweet. I think I have a new pet name for you. <laughs> Chota sister. Are you fascinated? Very. This is what tea was studied. of information, knowledge, so much history about how when this used to be an actual tea factory and uh, their tea plantation is just about two minutes away but unfortunately it's closed today. Uh, if you are coming here be sure to call in advance and find out whether they're open or closed but you can also buy some really amazing variety of teas over here. Look at the fan behind me. This is meant for artificial withering for rainy days otherwise they use the natural um, wind and light and all of that for the tea leaves to wither which is step number one while making teas. As a chai lover, I'm very happy. We've come up to their fourth floor for a cup of chai. Okay, so while my tea becomes a little bit cold because it's too hot right now, let me tell you that basically this used to be a tea plantation. Now it's just a tea museum. They do have a tea plantation, which is not today. Um, you to come here you have to pay a ticket price the ticket price we paid was 1600 local like Sri Lankan rupees for two people which is basically like 800 rupees per person please convert this to Indian rupees or US dollars or whatever you find fit basis the time because naturally currency goes up and down so much um, 
they talk about the history of this place, of the machines they used. Jerry and I both find stuff like this extremely fascinating. Hi, G, you want to come into my frame? You're sitting so far, far from me, even though I'm using the new wide frame, you're like right there. Um, both of us find stuff like this super, super fascinating. So we definitely wanted to come here the minute we heard about it. It's too bad we won't get to go visit the tea plantation on this floor itself they also have like a tea shop where you can go and actually buy all the different types of teas that are available usually at the plantation if you are confused about what you want to buy you can come over to this side yeah actually jo cup mein pee chahi hu ye ek free cup milta hai aapko on the purchase of the ticket to come inside but agar aapko shop mein alag alag variety khareedne se pehle tea try karni hai then you can get like little trial cups also on this side where i am right now Okay, so this tea is so good and it has no sugar, no milk. It's nice and strong, but it's not like overbearing. So I asked them the name of the sample and I'm 100% going to buy some before we leave. I have insisted and insisted to Jerry that he try it. He's not a tea person at all. I'm the tea person between us. And he finally gave in. It's nice. You tell me what you think actually. It's chai. It's black tea. It has the hint of tea. <laughs> Idiot. He's not a tea person at all. That would be me. And he's a complete coffee person. It's really good. I'm going to buy some. The name of the tea that I'm having, like the variety name is B-O-P-F. So in case you do come here and you try their cup of tea, try this one if you like a nice, strong, but not too strong variety of tea. Um, and they, the shop over here has a lot as well. So I'll take you inside here as soon as I'm done with my cup of chai that I'm really enjoying. रास्ते में थे टू गो टू दल कैन यू टेम्पल बिकॉज आई डोट गेट इट रॉन्ग टेम्पल ऑफ द टूथ टेम्पल ऑफ द टूथ एंड वेर एट द मोमेंट इन द मेन लाइक डाउन टाउन एरिया इन कलम्बो लेकिन यहाँ पे आई डोट यू कैन टेल बहुत ही ज्यादा क्राउड है एवरी एवरी वेर प्रिटी मच एंड वेर बींग एडवाइज दैट वी कैन गो टू द टेम्पल बट बिकॉज इतना सारा क्राउड है और आज संडे है अगर टेम्पल पे बहुत ज्यादा क्राउड है देन जेरी एंड आई वुड लाइक टू अवॉइड इट एज मच एज आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू इट कीपिंग इन माइंड दैट वे आर ऑल्सो ट्रेवलिंग ड्यूरिंग कोविड नाइनटीन एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट द पेंडेमिक इज नॉट ओवर इट्स ओनली नाउ दैट वी हेव टेकन ऑफ अ मास्क बिकॉज वेर इन द कार अदरवाइज वी हैव अ मास्क ऑन एब्सोल्यूटली एवरी वेयर नो मैटर वॉट एंड ऑफकोर्स रेस्टोरेंट जाएंगे या चाय पीने में बैठूंगी तो वहां पर तो निकालना है क्योंकि वहां पर भी टेबल्स अच्छे से डिस्टेंट रखे हुए थे फ्रॉम वन एन अदर बट if it's crowded then we're not going so we're driving by the temple right now and we're figuring if it looks crowded we're going to have to skip it i was really looking forward to it it's a really famous um with this temple i guess the tip i'm going to give you over here is that if you do come here avoid a weekend i guess that would be one way to avoid a possibly a really crowded day in general and ye hamara only full day hai candy mein so i don't feel bad about Another thing, what we've gotten to know is that it's usually crowded in the mornings and the evenings. Yeah. During the day, because it's a Sunday, it's probably crowded. Mm -hmm. what we, do. we avoided the morning and the evening specifically because we thought, okay, there'll be less crowd or no crowd. But okay, let me show you guys around on how crowded this place looks right now. We've been in Sri Lanka for the last what? Uh, Two days. Yesterday, Two days, yeah. people are wearing masks everywhere. Yep, even I noticed that. I'm so glad for that. No wonder. No wonder their numbers are like so in control and all, na? Nah? Like. I remember I asked Rian about this. Rian is my blogger friend who you guys have met for sure. He actually handles uh, a bunch of places and works in marketing and PR for a bunch of properties and hospitality here in Sri Lanka. And he planned this entire trip for us. And I said, Rian, but what is the COVID situation like? And he was like, People are so disciplined over here, and the numbers are so well in control. And when we came here, even yesterday, we noticed this from the airport. Everywhere, there is no pedestrian we've spotted that is not wearing a mask. I'm wearing a mask. Correct. This entire stretch is super crowded. This is the temple stretch, and it's very, 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 very crowded. I want you to experience Hikaduva. I want you to experience Unavatuna. Yes, I haven't been to those two places. It's very, very crowded. Yes, it's very crowded. Very yeah. crowded. Yeah. That is a long line. Oh my God! I didn't roll in time to show it. That was a really long line to go inside. It's very, very crowded. Okay, I think the right thing to do is we're skipping it. 
we are unfortunately we will come back to candy Absolutely. for the temple for sure this is where the entries are the line is all the way till here and we had seen it all the way at the gate yep too crowded for us to go to Delhi so this hotel is called the Queen's Hotel and when the Queen came to Sri Lanka, this is where she stayed. This is literally bang opposite the temple in case you want to come and take a look when you're around. We're driving by this beautiful lake. It's the natural lake that Candy has. Again, this is something I want to try and come back to at a later time because it looks so pretty. I would have loved to have a picture here. Please, please take all of these things into consideration when you're coming here, like all of these spots that are just so beautiful. Also, have you noticed Candy sky is something else, Cherry? It's so blue and the yeah. clouds are so pronounced. It's beautiful. Driving by one of the prisons of Sri Lanka. Oh, so this is no more an active no. prison. Now it's been moved elsewhere, right? We are back at the hotel. We're at the summit and it's time for lunch. And it's literally 1.33 p.m. I feel so travel, I realize that I have extraordinary amounts of hunger. Ho jata hai. And uh, we're having a traditional candy lunch today, which I'm really excited for. Sri Lankan food in general, it's sort of like Indian food in a sense that it has a lot of flavor and there's a lot of rich taste that you get from it. So I've never had a candy style lunch before. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I know I haven't shown you guys my full outfit. I'll go ahead and show you that as soon as I'm back in my room and before I change into my next outfit. A lot of people are laughing at that little bit that I showed you in one of the previous vlogs before I left for Sri Lanka where Jerry was making fun of me about how many outfits I wanted to bring here. <laughs> yes, I like to when I know I'm going to vlog and when I know there's going to be content from there and uh, we are being very generously hosted by the hotels that we're staying at. For sure, I want to try and make sure I have nice outfits on. That's just it. Look around, they have such beautiful paintings in this area over here. This is like the um, eating floor, the entire floor over here is tables. And I really love a good boutique experience. Like I feel like staying at big five stars and all is great, it's fun, it's luxury. But the personalized experience you get when you stay at a smaller boutique property is unparalleled. Um, so yeah, looking forward to food right now. I can smell it. Jerry, can you smell the food? Salivating. In case you care, by the way, the lipstick I'm wearing is 5 feet 3 inches. I just put up a story on Instagram where I said that I am wearing a bunch of verified things on my face today. Um, but uh, I can't tell you what anything else is apart from the lipstick. What I can tell you is I have concealer, I have uh, loose powder, I have brows, I have eyeshadow, I have uh, blush highlighter and lipstick. And I have a couple of other things that I will not mention. Do you guys want to guess what the verified products are? Because I just mentioned in my Q&A while I was doing the Q&A from the airport while traveling yesterday. Uh, airport, road trip, I kept answering questions. One of the things I said was in 2022, inshallah, I want to be able to do five verified launches. These are all products that I'm already actively working on. So yeah, if you want to guess them or if you want to make requests for products you want me to work on, I'm always reading the comment section. I'm always reading, liking, hearting and responding from the comment section. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now because the smell is like... I should stop. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And mushroom and beans and chicken curry. And they use papada. Lovely. Thank you. Okay, so we have rice over here along with a whole host of things to put on it. All of it smells amazing. So we're going to dive right in. Mr. So has already dived right in. I said Mr. Sir. Okay, the food here is excellent. Khane ki tarif to main kar chuki hoon, karne wali hoon, karte rahungi because I'm a foodie. But this mango chutney is it's next level. I've asked for extra mango chutney and extra papadums. And um, <clears throat> literally salivating while I'm speaking. It is so good, you guys. I told Jerry that it's not good to find it in the market, if it will get it, we will take it. And 
and then we just met the owner of the hotel who came in here mr bilal who i'll introduce you guys to later in the vlog he mentioned that the chef makes the mango chutney here oh my god jerry said mummy could make some he said mummy makes mango chutney as well right but i want to buy some from here and then i'm going to ask mummy to make some also my mother in law is such a good cook and um, i am definitely definitely going to store this in the house because this chutney is so damn good We have Zahid over here who runs the place and um, he's been very very hospitable and generous with his tips on where to go and what to do when you do come to Candy and hopefully if you do stay over here make sure you tell him you recognize him from my vlogs and he just told me that we will get this mango chutney at some supermarket which is all over Sri Lanka yes. most of the supermarkets what's the brand kist kist yeah yes so if you like mango and you like chutney Remember that name. It's excellent. Dessert is here. I saw it coming, and this is the same dessert I ordered because I had it last night. Also, if you have seen my day one ka vlog, dekha hai, then you saw me having these banana fritters with ice cream, guys. I, oh no! I have to be careful. I woke up in the morning thinking of these banana fritters. I'm not joking. आवाज कर लो मेरे vlogging के time पे आवाज कर लो. His husband of the year. <laughs> He's waiting to move the chair again. This I'm gonna take a picture of these banana fritters right now and insert it over here, guys. These banana fritters look simple and nice, but they will take over my life if I like. Oh, they're so good. I need to learn how to make banana fritters. Is your mom know how to make banana fritters also? Can she teach me? Mm. I'm gonna become a diabetic if I keep eating like this. Yes. So Can you imagine if I woke up thinking of them? How good they must be! Like literally, my first thought when I woke up this morning, not the 5:30 wala time, the normal wala time, was, mmm, banana fritters. I wake up every morning thinking, mmm, my wife, so beautiful, so pretty. You lying there with me? That's PG. You? I can't believe you just said that in a vlog, oh. Gerard. I just said I wake up every morning thinking of my wife. Oh my god! You didn't say my wife. Is that? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, so I can't. I, I need to change the trajectory of this vlog, guys. He's 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 he doesn't know what he's saying. Let's ignore him. Let's. Mmm, banana fritters. Mmm, dude. Dude, heaven tastes like this. There's something else, my friends. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy this. Bye. Okay, I was about to change and get into something else just to laze around for a little bit before what's lined up next happens in another couple of hours or so. But quickly showing you my outfit, I am gonna go ahead and add the brand name over here on the screen, and I'm carrying this bag that I think you guys were with me when I was doing this haul from Hill Road. I believe a link to that video as well. I'm wearing these Tory Burch sandals that my mom gifted me a couple of years ago. I think on my birthday or generally, or I can't remember. But they're really lovely tan sandals, and um, it's something that I really love. Super, super comfortable, and I wear them. Not enough, actually. I wore them a lot when she gifted them to me, and then I think for a while, because I wore them so much, they kind of stayed in one part of my wardrobe. And now they're out and about again. Okay, go and change and lace and BRB. I'm being instructed to do this. He's pretending to read a book, but he asked me to go and get up and get the grapes from the fruit bowl. What did you want me to say? Maharaj ki jai ho, Maharaj ki jai. Are. Maharaj, एक टाइम पे की खाएंगे आई यू हैप्पी नाउ महाराज जी हेलो देखा फिर से ऑलमोस्ट भूल गई मैं हेलो इट इज फाइव पी एम जेरी एंड आई आर रेडी टू गो अप टू द रूफ टॉप फॉर अर हाई टी आई हैव चेंज आई वॉल बिन फ्रेशन अब जेरी मेरा आउटफिट दिखाओ ना पकड़ो जरा माई ह्यूमन ट्राई पॉड आई विल एड ऑल दी आउटफिट डिटेल्स अगेन on the screen wearing this dress just repeating my tory burch sandals because i feel like i'm in the mood for flats the rest of them are all kind of tiny heels such a pull up also so huh jerry just hold it in one please 
Okay, so this is what it looks like. Initially when I saw the outfit, I was a little bit confused about whether I like it or don't like it, but I realized now that I actually really like it. The blouse is all very Indian with like embroidery work. And then, and then, uh, 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 and then the rest of it is very like loose sort where it types with the print going on. Initially I was in two minds, now I am not. Okay, that's all for my OOTD. Oh, I'm wearing earrings that you guys saw me buy from um, Mintra in the jewelry haul wala video, which I'll leave a link to in case you want to go check it out. Okay, now we're gonna go to the rooftop. Chalo, tripod ke saath. Hum achha achha time lapses le rahe strip pe. Are you liking them? Tell us in the comments. Can you hear the wind? Oh my god, it is so beautiful over here and there's so much wind. Let's see if you can see it over there. It's better than inside bar. Let me take you and show you. This is what the inside area of this rooftop scene looks like. It's pretty nice and cute. And do you see this airplane style clock situation going on over here? I love the attention for detail, honestly. And it's all so pretty. There's also a little book nook going on over here, which is really pretty, along with a picture of Surya. Our high tea setup over here looks absolutely beautiful. There is so much to choose from. My hair has gone from being open to tied. My dress has gone from being cute to kind of covered. This scenery, this location, this view, this everything is so stunning. And if you know me at all, if you've been watching my videos, the wind does something to me. I love it, but I also have trouble adjusting with it. Um, so I've just been sitting here having coffee, eating snacks, living my best life. Honestly, this just feels like one of the nicest, most chillest Sunday evenings ever. This is our last evening in Candy. And uh, we're just taking these views in. Jerry has quickly gone down to the loo. I'm sitting here by myself, just genuinely feeling so appreciative and grateful for this trip, for this opportunity to be here, to be able to do this. I'm so, so, so just grateful. Shukran alhamdulillah. The fact that we can have this holiday and travel and we don't have our masks on right now because we're like just us sitting on the rooftop. There's no one else. The property doesn't have any other guests. At the moment, it's a really cute looking property. They literally just have four rooms. So I got a, I got to know about an interesting story about the summit earlier, I should tell you. The person who owns it actually built this as a holiday home for themselves. So I remember when we walked in yesterday, I said to Jerry that this place has such a homey vibe, like even the way the interiors are and stuff. I'll go ahead and show you some like shots over here next to me of what the property looks like while I'm talking about it. So the property is over like four floors. The lowest floor is like the kitchen area. Uh, I haven't obviously gone there. The floor above it is where you saw us eating a bunch of times. There's a lot of tables and that's where all of the dining happens. The third story is your reception area. Um, and then your fourth story is your where all the rooms are. And then I guess this is kind of like the fifth story. It's just the rooftop so it's not really a story. So it's got a nice cozy feeling and uh, it's very homely and well taken care of I have to say. It's just got such limited rooms and the, uh, uh, you know, like the hospitality and all, it's all so like personal. I love it. I genuinely do. Um, and it's been done up in a very nice, simple, uh, but classic way. I love the fact that we have these big windows uh, to our room, the balcony, the view, the feeling. The weather is also, by the way, just perfect. I hadn't really gotten into deep diving into what the weather over here would be like. I just knew that it would be slightly warmer in the afternoons and that the evenings would be more pleasant and windy. Literally what it is right now. I'm happy and feeling good. And there's, uh, what I was saying earlier was there's no other guests because there was one other couple over here but they checked out around the same time that we checked in kind of a thing. So it's literally just us over here right now and it kind of feels like we've got the whole place to ourselves almost. Um, yeah, just really loving it. I'm not that much of a hill person. Actually, I like the hills. I'm not that much of a going to the hills person because of my road sickness. But now that I am here, I really enjoy it and I love the weather. I think we could have done one more night in Candy. If you do come to Candy, do three nights in Candy. That's my suggestion. Because there's just, there are a lot of points and stuff to see over here also, which we're not doing because it's really, really crowded at the moment. But if you're coming at a later time, then that's something you want to keep in mind. Oh my God, I've been talking.
Darling, can you even hear me over all of the wind? Can you hear the wind? It's nuts. I love it. I mean, what are these skies, guys? There is no filter. I don't know how to add filters on video. Like, just look at this. It's suddenly gone pink one half. And they look like... They look like I can't help but call them candy floss. I mean, it's so fitting considering I'm in candy. But it literally looks like candy floss clouds. It's so stunning. I cannot have enough of it. I'm sorry if I sound like a good record, but such me aake asman ke saath yaake ke saath uske saath mein ko pyar ho gaya. Full. It is almost 7 p.m. right now. It's 6:59 p.m. exactly speaking, and we are about to be out and about. In a sense that we're going for a drive. We have Zahid over here, who you guys met, I think, earlier today. Hi. Uh, and we are going to. be seeing a couple of those drive through post sunset kind of spots uh now i don't think we're going to get out of the car because some of these since it's a sunday evening might actually be crowded so we'll figure as we go and uh, for now what we're prepared for is a beautiful sightseeing type evening drive we couldn't be friends anymore by not the dust I don't know if you can see them as clearly as I see them. I will insert a picture for you over here. But oh my god, there are some white birds here. I don't know what they're called, but they sound like ducks. Can you hear that? And this is just above the lake we drove by in the afternoon. It's absolutely empty at this time, as you can see. There aren't any more people loitering around except our boy over here. And then these birds that made so much noise and caught our attention. Walking around on the The weather is so lovely, and uh, it's just really nice. Also, it's not very crowded. Even though it's a Sunday evening, it was more crowded in the day than it is right now, for sure, 100%. Right across from the lake is another temple over here. So, if you do come to Kandy, make sure you have a list of all the temples you want to visit, and all of them are architecturally just so beautiful, even just to look at from outside. A few moments later. Jerry, I don't know if I'm noticing this right now or if you have before, but do you see anything familiar over here? Familiar. The door for table mat. Yes. This is literally the exact same table mats we have at home that we use for daily use. Yes. I love them. They make me feel like I'm at home, just like this place does. We're having dinner and Jerry, what have you ordered for yourself? Grilled chicken. Grilled chicken with some veggies and mashed potato that I'm going to steal. Yes. <laughs> and I'm having some fish fingers with fried. Well, I was going to say fried rice. Guys. What the hell? With French fries. Fried potato. And a tartar sauce. Yeah, fried rice, French fries. Brain is tired. Body is tired. Okay, so I literally left some of my fish over there that I'm going to have as a midnight snack between packing because we're leaving like tomorrow morning. For my banana fritters. This is our last night of getting these banana fritters, and I'm gonna miss them. Aww. So, yeah, basically, I left space for dessert because this dessert definitely 100% dessert. Okay, it is the end of day two. It is almost 10:30 p.m. I cannot believe that our time in Candy has passed so jaldi jaldi, na, Jerry? Yeah. कुछ ज़्यादा ही जल्दी नहीं चला गया ये. आई थिंक हमें कैंडी वापस आना चाहिए स्पेशली उस टेम्पल को देखने के लिए अंदर जाने के लिए आई थिंक दैट देर आर थिंग्स इन कैंडी दैट वी डिड नॉट गेट टू एंड सी ऑल दो व्यू पॉइंट वॉज रियली नाइस देर वर अ फ्यू पीपल अराउंड इवन दो वी वेंट लाइक सोट ऑफ लाइक पोस्ट सनसेट और वर दिन के टाइम पर तो वहाँ पर और भी ज़्यादा रश होता फॉर श्योर बट आई थिंक कैंडी डिजर्व इन अदर डे मे बी टू मोर डेज नेक्स्ट टाइम वी कम यू वी शुड Definitely consider that. I'm going to end today's video here because कल सुबह बहुत जल्दी उठना है tomorrow. तो so I'm very excited for. So the thing that we're about to do tomorrow morning is something that I have wanted to do since 2019. I'm going to try to not blurt it here just because I want to have that exciting moment when I get to tell you that tomorrow morning in like full build up because I've had friends go there. Really, really excited. Uh, have I already said it somewhere in the video? And I'm like doing khudka only like fachar. Probably. I probably would have because I've been really. excited so if you know when i'm going leave a comment with the word fachad this is a word it's a very like i think it's like spell fachad f a c h a d i guess it's like this what is fachad fachad is like doing like bafat what is a bafat but i'm just making up words no these are like very like i think they're very gujarati inspired words like they're very like 
I think it's a blend of Bombay and Gujarati or something. My mom has, like, my family has used these words for Apple. Maybe me, man, is bad. I don't know. Um, today, by the way, on that Q and A, I noticed on Instagram, somebody asked me, "Do I speak Gujarati?" This is Kal ki baat, and I replied saying, "I don't speak Gujarati, mm-hmm. but I follow Gujarati. Uh, I can read the script, but I." can't completely understand what i'm reading is the irony of it and then i got a bunch of dms from people saying we i didn't know you're gujarati or your mom's side is gujarati no my parents are both muslims it's just that my mom's side and my dad's side are all kachis and kachi memans uh, so essentially a lot of our like religious books and stuff have been in gujarati so growing up i kind of picked up on the script somehow I think for I think that these are little me one little I don't know that I don't know the origin of it I don't want to make a but you mistake do, you do know a little, little bit of Gujarati which is farsan I mean mere ragu mein farsan dodta hai if you if that's what you mean yes, exactly what I mean the welcome comment shout out for the day goes to Vivi Sekar and uh, you know what you, can you say my my comment line do you know my line I love food huh hey Comment line, I'm saying. Don't be na like. I love hearting, reading, liking your comments. Kuchhi, kichhi, kichhi. I love reading, liking, hearting, and responding to each and every one of you. Literally, even though I'm on vacation at eight o'clock, once the video went live, because I get like an alert, right? Like, Aunt Bichika, maybe alarm. Because you know, our video live has been live. I scheduled it. So at eight o five, I tune in and I started replying to all of your comments. It does not matter whether I'm on vacation or not. Your comments make my day, and I will always. Find time multiple times a day to sit and reply to you all. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put the camera away, put everything to charge, so I can take everything out on time tomorrow. But on my phone, sit and respond to your comments because it makes me really happy. Okay, I'm gonna go. I need to sleep. I need to wake up at 7 a.m. Hmm. Okay. Bye. Love you. Ma. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Here's a little sneak peek of the next day from this trip. See you in the next vlog, where fam.